Tiash. So, if awakening is the highest purpose, for you can say the human construct, consciousness, then how can that be a trap? Right? It's like, like this is why we're here. You know, isn't aren't I uh, <clears throat> spiritual? I'm, I'm choosing, seemingly, not choosing, but to forego money and material and wealth and relationships. All that can still be there, but that's like not the in the forefront of my life anymore. I'm choosing to wake up, I'm choosing spirituality. So how can that be a trap? Because if it's a if it's a mental concept, then it's a trap. If it's your mind that's fueling this spiritual journey, although there's space for that too, that has to happen for a while. It's like, what can you say? You know, there's no absolutes. There's no absolute bad or good or nothing. But I'm pointing to something um, advanced level. All right, let's call it. That's another concept. But what are we going to do? All right. Anytime we talk, we're talking concepts. And it's fun. Why not? I started this spiritual journey when I was uh, about 15 and I didn't stop and I searched everything. I went to every church in the phone book and I tried all different meditations, everything. And I'm gonna try, why? Because I had a really bad health situation that was making my life hell. And I wanted to be spiritual so that then that would go away, but then so then I could continue to do what I wanna do. So I can continue having uh, <clears throat> uh, life experiences. I was super addicted to experiences. I wasn't, I wasn't done with that yet. That's a subtle thing that the ego does. It keeps that trump card. And then it has all these, all these uh, justifications for it. Oh, but we're supposed to be here to enjoy. Why else would we be here? We're here for experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all true. That's true. But where are you speaking from when you're saying that? Is that still like the real, is that what gets you going? These experiences? Is that where you get your juice from? You know, like there's all, we can use spiritual cliches all day long to, you know, try to win an argument and justify our own unconsciousness. But like, what level of self-honesty do you have? Are you at the point to where, and see, this is why, this is why age is beneficial. It just is. Like you, you mature as you go on. That's why I also say live life to your fullest, man. Go do everything you want to do. Make a desire list and go do it. Just go do it. And then at some point, and this is another reason I think why the Hindu scriptures say, if you reach 84, somebody corrected me once when I said that, because I forget if it's 84 or 87, that you, um, even if you had no spiritual practice, that you're probably self-realized. Why? They didn't explain why. I'll explain why. Because you've hit the point where you've tasted everything that you at least enough and you realize you know what everything just keeps changing and passing and I get some euphoria from these experiences but then it passes that's why these these older <clears throat> older people like my grandma she used to be here she graduated but she would just sit in her chair chilling she'd just be chilling I'd be like 10 11 12 years old I'd be like so like what are you gonna do today nothing what do you mean Aren't you bored? No. Well, what are you thinking about? Nothing. Do you want to go outside and run around? No, I'm good. You see, I couldn't understand that state. But she was in a, in, a, in a peaceful, relaxed state if I didn't bother her. And she was just chilling. Because, and it's not like you're just like, oh, I don't have any energy to do anything. It's, it's like you've just kind of saw through everything. <laughs> Whether you know it or not. That's why I say, like, people can become, they can be awake and not even know it. The mind's not there is thinking, like, I'm awake. They're just awake. They're just chilling. There's a, there's a, there's a, some kind of black bird here. Maybe you'll see it. It's, it's going to cross. Maybe. So the question is, <clears throat> where, what point are you at? And, and ask God to give you the self-honesty to look and see and don't judge yourself. See, people are afraid to look because they might, they might, it might be revealed like, well, I still have some <clears throat> attachment to, to human experiences and, and I'll, man, don't worry about it. I got to tell you, I do like, 
I like this girl Yari that makes videos. <laughs> she focuses a little, maybe excessively, on make you know, like it's good though. Like she's calling out the spiritual traps. That's what she's doing. And and what did she say? Like most people, <laughs> yeah, she's saying what we're saying. Like you want to chase spirituality because. You want to, you, you think it's going to enhance your, your experiences in life, in your, your human life. Oh, if I get spiritual, maybe I can get a better relationship. If I get spiritual, my manifest, manifestation powers will be stronger. This reminds me of my semen retention channel. People are practicing semen retention, preserving their sexual energy so that they can go get more stuff. You know, and, and that's cool. Like you cannot not do that for a while. It's all good. But what I'm saying is, are you aware of where you're at? This is the takeaway from this video. This is the highest uh, point that I can give you in this video is you check and see where you're at and you accept where you're at. Because it's the human construct karmic self that is where it's at. The pure consciousness is beyond awake, so don't worry about it. This is what it means when they say you're already self-realized. The conscious, it's not even that. Like, that, it, there's no self-realization for the pure self. Like, it, <laughs> that's a concept the mind creates for the individual sense of self that's embarked in this whole dream journey of waking back up, which it never does completely, by the way. There's always can be more deep. You could, the human construct self can always be more fused with its source. It's the concepts that create problems because that's identity. You believe in these concepts. So accept where you're at, enjoy, write a list. Oh, I wanna have a, a really nice uh, girlfriend or boyfriend. Oh, I wanna go to Thailand and go try the soapy massage. Oh, I wanna, you know, I wanna make a million dollars. I just wanna, I just wanna see six zeros behind a one in my bank account. I just, I just wanna see it. I wanna buy a Ferrari, I wanna, I'm giving gross level examples, but there's all kinds of subtle ones too, which is actually more important to catch out. I want people to recognize me that I'm something. I'm somebody, I have something to offer. This is huge, this is big, this is deep. I just want, when I go outside or when I'm with friends or when I'm with whoever, family, I want a little recognition that there's something worthy here. That's deep. Do you have that? We gotta be at a certain level to where we can even catch that out. I was at Muji's uh, retreat about, I don't know, eight, nine years ago, Zmar. <laughs> he had a meditation uh, satsang. We left the meditation. I was like one of the first ones to leave. I was having some problems with my, my neck and I was just uncomfortable. So I left <clears throat> and I was walking. He's also one of the first to leave. He likes to get out of there. He don't want to be bombarded by all, you know, people. Like, oh, bless me, and, you know. So he left too, and he was in a car, and he was going down the street, and he saw me. And I saw him. And he gave this smile, man, that was so genuine and deep that it somehow... It, it like, it... started the process of this deep seated thing that most people have of feeling unworthy. It, it started to crash that. that. That thing that I didn't even really know I had started to dissolve. And then I spent the next two days like, <clears throat> just tears kept coming, you know? I wasn't sad, I was happy. <laughs> but uh, this was the process, you know? And uh, he didn't know he did it. He has no idea, I guarantee it. And I had no idea that was going to happen. So God's running the show. He uses certain people as an instrument to, to give darshan to another person, and, and then life goes on. So this, this deep sense of um, just not being worthy enough, that, that, that can be a subtle thing. That can be a really subtle thing that people have and you're not aware of. And so then your life actions and behaviors and your goals and everything are tied into that. So see your motives 
do you have the level of self-honesty to really check your motives? Your motives are being fueled by this inordinate need to be recognized by others. What does that mean? That means that you're never really gonna realize what your true expression is or function to play on this planet because you're, it's being blocked by these motives that you have to want self-recognition. You see? Same with relationships. Let's give a subtle one for that. If you want to be with a girl or a guy because there's some insecurity inside, there's somehow you don't feel you're enough, but you watch the Hollywood movies and also your own imagination, and something feels, man, if I have a partner, God, I'm gonna enjoy life more. But yet you go out, you, when you, you, when, if you're out in the street or you're talking to you're in your little spiritual groups, you'll say, no, there's only, uh, everything's inside, I'm, I'm totally content, uh, you know, <clears throat> don't need anything. Nothing can fill me up inside, only God can do that. So we might say that stuff, but is it really true? This is the level of introspection that will set one free. We have to do that. The ego don't want to look at that. It wants to hold on to the concept that I'm awake. It doesn't want to check this stuff out. You got to be willing to check this stuff out. If you don't take it personal, whatever your defects of character are, idiosyncrasies, etc., karma, don't take it personal. If you don't take it personal, you can look at this stuff. Who cares? It's not you. It's the human construct self that's playing this game. So, of course, it's got to have shadows and light. You're going to have, you're going to have defects and you're going to have assets. How are you going to have one without the other? The ego just wants to have assets. Yeah, I want to tell everybody about my assets. I want to, I want to, I can think about my assets too. Like, yeah, I like thinking about that. Okay, what about the opposite side though? You like thinking about that? If you want to be balanced and truly awake in the highest sense, <laughs> like different levels of awakening, whatever, you got to look at both sides. The other thing I wanted to share, um, oh, but did I finish that with the relationship? So if you're wanting to get into a relationship for those reasons, that's also karma though. That also has to happen. You see, there's different levels of maturity and evolutionary states. You can't, you know, <clears throat> I don't know who's eating this food that I'm, I'm sharing right now. Not everybody can eat it, of course, but some can. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sharing it. So if you get into a relationship for those reasons, either realize that and then you might not get into it or you want to do high level stuff, get into the relationship and share that stuff. Share that with your partner. Be like, hey, let's use this. I like the Course of Miracles that used to talk about a <clears throat> holy relationship versus uh, a special relationship, which is ego relationship. So you get, get yourself a holy relationship and use it to work off this karma. Tell your partner, say, look, it's obviously not one or the other. You're not just totally acting out from personal inordinate needs, but tell, like, say, like, look, we got good chemistry. I really feel this... Uh, feel this love you know that's just organic like it's unconditional I don't love you because for anything material or sex or no I just love you I just like you like I like all you I just like you period that's it that's why I'm with you because I like you and love you <laughs> but I also I can feel I have this like need this need to have a partner I somehow feel a little incomplete so it's like a part of me is kind of like experiencing that too. I just want to let you know, can you handle it? Is there space for that? Or does that make you insecure? Have that high level uh, conversation and see what happens. So if you want to do that, cool. So either don't get in a relationship, <clears throat> your intuition will guide you, or get in one and just disclose everything. Honesty just is, is purifying. That's the quickest way to wake up from this ego <clears throat> delusional matrix world that most people are living in. The other thing with concepts though I wanted to share on there's all these labels that you can you can hear about uh, <clears throat> in books and, 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 and you know cosmic consciousness and unity consciousness and you know servaculpa samadhi nervaculpa samadhi and super consciousness, super duper consciousness and all that stuff. That's big mind trap food for the mind. It's like, whoa, which state did I reach? 
I don't have any powers yet. I'm trying to move this grass. It's not moving. You know, servicalpa samadhi. When you you can you can switch off everything, but but you got to be in like a quiet place to do that. You just ah, uh, just okay now. Maybe your breath will stop. Doesn't matter. Don't 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 <laughs> don't make that into something. Nervicalpa samadhi. That state <clears throat> is still, there's awareness of this state even when you're outside, even when you're in a public place. All these concepts, to what intensity, to what degree is that state when you're in a public place? Is it the same as when you're just deep, like alone, just switched off, like, you know, is it the same? It's not gonna be the same. The intensity is gonna be different. The hurts is gonna be different. The hurts of peace. Don't get into all that. The true self, our pure consciousness, isn't in any kind of labeled state. It just is what it is. Let the rest of the show run itself. Don't label it. If you feel good inside, good. Leave it like that. Don't label it. Yo, I have cosmic consciousness now. You just don't do it. That, that's more mind food. It's more mind traps. And then people go and try to sell it to each other and see who's in a higher state. You know, there's 13, I said before, there's somebody was saying there's 13 levels. They put me on level seven. Don't get into all that. Just, just, you live your life, you're cool. Keep your attention here, recognize the consciousness that you are that doesn't have a form and, and, and be good. Let, let, let the rest of the, the, the show play out, you know? And, and careful of those concepts, catch those spiritual concepts. They'll get you quicker than any other concept, you see, because it's like subtle stuff. So we're here to catch the subtle stuff on this channel. All right, see you.